They were okay. Uh, I don't think it, you know, in no disrespect to our opponent that we knew was going to be really good. But, uh, you know, in the first half, our rebounding was not good. Our turnovers were too many. Took care of that in the second half. Proud of the guys for that. But, you know, when you schedule a game like this, you know who you're playing. You know, we schedule a team with winning DNA. We schedule a team that is averaging 25, 26 wins a year. We schedule a team that has veteran players, a multitude of grad transfers, or grad students, you know, guys that are in their fifth year, guys that are redshirt juniors, redshirt seniors. So they're physical and they're very well coached. Justin does a terrific job. And we wanted to play a team like that. We could have scheduled down and had a false sense of who we are. But they force us to guard their picking action. They force us to be able to play through contact. And we had to adjust as the game went on. So it was, it was a very good game for us, you know, in that sense. Fran, Josh Dix had 17 in the second half. I and mean, you've praised him all throughout his career, but it just seems like since the second half of last season, his aggressiveness and just really knowing who he is as a basketball player has just been amplified. And he's been like that from minute one. You know, from, we've got a lot of practices. We've been practicing since June here. We say that all the time. But he's really amazingly consistent with his effort, with his execution. Nothing rattles him. He's not a mistake guy. He makes shots. He makes plays. I'm moving to one there at the end. He doesn't get tired, he plays defense, and he's a gamer. Brock and Lodgy getting the start, just what what have they shown leading up to this season? Brock's almost? been terrific. Uh, he didn't play well tonight, but he was, he's was he been terrific. And so is Lodgy. Lodgy's just ahead of the younger guys, as you would expect. Physically, he's in great shape. You know, Coop and Sadu and Chris, they're all young. You know, Sadu's new. So in terms of knowing what we're doing and being in the right place, you know, Lodgy has been a little more consistent. He played really well in our scrimmage last week. Seem came out um, more inspired to start the second half. Is that kind of your message to them? I thought we were inspired to start the game. You know, we, we didn't play well. I didn't think it was a lack of energy. Uh, we didn't react well to the physicality in the first half, and our, our answer was to quick shoot the ball. So we're jacking threes, and they weren't awful shots, but we never worked the ball. I mean, they only committed five fouls in the first half, you know, and, and we wanted to drive the ball. So second half, we're in a double bonus. It makes a big difference in the game. Price was a big reason. I mean, Price was going Price to the rim. He's been great. You know, he was, you know, he could always shoot the ball. He's six foot seven. He, he can drive it. He's physical. Uh, again, a guy that he can handle it, he can pass it, he can rebound. I thought he was great in that one stretch. What do you want to accomplish uh, in practice and in film between now and opening night? We have to be better defensively guarding picking action and getting our weight side over. They did a good job having action away. So sometimes you start hugging that, you don't get the help that you need, and then you gotta recover and know who you're recovering to. So probably a little better off the bounce. They had some really good drivers, but we knew that. And did a good enough job, but it's gotta be better. Is Chris dealing with injury or was that just coach's decision? No, it was coach's decision. I, I feel bad I should have got him in there a few minutes. It wasn't gonna be a lot of minutes for him tonight, uh, but I could have got him in there a little bit. Fran, you, you touched on this a little bit when you schedule the exhibition game, but I guess with, with a relatively new group, a lot of experienced guys coming back, I mean, establishing that new team chemistry and understanding how to play, is that just a completely new level when you kind of get away from the practice environment and just schedule somebody you're not guarding your own teammate? Yeah, you know, I really wish, you know, I, I thought last Saturday was great for us. You know, again, Southern Illinois, very well-coached team, veteran coaching staff. They had a lot of new guys, they had old guys, but they were all new. Because it was a new coach, that's what happened, new coach, and he's gotta go get eight, 10 guys out of the portal. That's what he did. But they had some veteran athletic guys. Just come in here and nobody's here, and you just play. We played a game, then we played a 10 minute zone scrimmage, then we played situations, and you're, you know, 
you're not going against somebody that knows what you're doing either way. And then, then you play an exhibition game, it's more of a dress rehearsal, but same thing, you're playing new players, you're going through a scouting report, and you figure out what, okay, what we did well and what we didn't do well, like Mike said. You know, we didn't do some things well, we gotta get better at it, and we will. It, it was a small sample size, but it seemed like Evan just looked more comfortable out there. Is that, I mean, have, in you would expect that. He's a fifth year guy, you mm -hmm. know, started at the D1 level. Didn't get much of an opportunity last year because of the guys we had. Uh, but he has performed well enough to put him in a position where he was. Owen got tired. Baji was getting stitches. Ev, you got to get in there. And uh, he was really good. What, what happened to Baji? But busted up his face. He's all right. He's a tough dude. All right, thanks, coach.